Hey there, Sharon Horn Elsmere. Welcome today, 2024 of What You Up To Now, documenting my journey. Originally in 2017, 2018, actually, I started doing a, a live video journal. My vision was tanking. Uh, I'd had vision challenges for decades, but uh, my good eye was becoming as bad as my bad eye. And pretty soon, by 2019, I was legally blind. So I had to find ways to keep track of what I was doing and, and continuing to do every day without having to write it down and document it all in writing because it's hard to, for me to get at that information. So I started doing a little daily log and ever since then I've been doing a, a hop on and I talk about what am I working on, what's working, what's not working. Sometimes it's long, sometimes it's short, sometimes I've got a message, sometimes I don't. Kind of fallen into just the last year or so reviewing what I've created for pieces of content, which I think I'm gonna reevaluate this and decide what do I wanna do with this segment in Supersize Your Business today, our idiom was planting seeds, or to plant seeds, it's probably one of the most famous metaphors for uh, initiating action and creating what we want, or, to, or doing something, taking action to get a result that we want, uh, almost of all time. It's a really, really famous one. If you haven't heard it, I'd be very surprised. We compare planting seeds to doing a lot of things. It reminds us that in order to get the outcomes and the results and the goals that we want, we have to put in energy and effort energy in the form of communication energy in the form of if it's a seed literally planting a seed we have to make sure it's in the right soil we have to make sure that it gets the nutrients it needs we have to make sure it gets sunshine and water and all that it needs and that it's taken care of and that process takes time before we see and, and reap the rewards and get the result of the effort that we put in that's the way everything works so many of us uh, human beings expect instant gratification. I don't know where that came from. I, I don't know if we're born wanting things to happen really, really fast. But the truth is, if everything we thought immediately showed up in our life, most of us would be in big, big trouble because we're human and we all have positive and negative thoughts every single day. And if all the positive things happen immediately, so would the negatives. And so I think there's a time delay intentionally built into the way things work because otherwise uh, I guess the universe wants to know if we're serious or not so today we talked about planting seeds and how that uh, can impact and help us to grow and build and supersize our business as well as our action item today our, our this year's annual challenge to get your goals annual challenge we're talking about the soap framework we're going through the soap framework meaning we we're focusing on communication this month and communication goals well in the beginning of each month, I've kind of fallen into this practice of we think of an improvement area, an area of communication or whatever the month's life framework topic is, and we say, okay, what is an area that I want to improve? Let's apply the SOAP framework to it. And so we're on the O of the SOAP framework today, which is coming up with brainstorming and identifying possible options to get us from where we are right now in that area to where we want to be. And that, yesterday we talked about the our story and our situation. The story is our current story. What's going on? But what do we want it to be? If it, if there wasn't a difference between where we are and what we want to be, there wouldn't be a gap that we need to fill. And we'd have no motivation or no desire to take any action to water our seed, to take care of our seed, if we didn't want to see a different result. So we talked about brainstorming and using a 10, 3, and 1 tool. That means we just brainstorm 10 things at least 10 different ways to get from where we are to where we want to be and then tomorrow we will and then we'll pick three today we'll circle three that we can relate to the most and tomorrow we're going to analyze and pick one of those to take action on which is the a in the soap framework uh, all of those um, and dozens of examples of applying the soap framework are in a private facebook group called the get up and go challenge private facebook group it doesn't i don't think it's it says private, but I don't think it's in the title, right? But it's a private Facebook group that you're welcome to join. You have to answer the security questions because we want to make sure that you're not going to scam or uh, spam that particular group. But last year's annual challenge is in there. This year's annual challenge. This year's uh, right up for each day starting February 1st. I didn't start doing it until February 1st and I may or may not and I'm thinking you know some days I think I will other days I think yeah I'm not gonna go back and do January uh, But I did a I've been doing just testing doing a, a you know write-up using chat GPT very honest I'm not creating it from scratch. I'm asking chat GPT a question seeing what it comes up with and sharing that in guide 17 of that group 
uh, to supplement the annual challenge. I just do a video every day for the annual challenge. And we have an action item every day. Today's action item, brainstorm 10 ways to possibly fix your communication improvement areas. My communication improvement area is one-on-one uh, -on -one communication, specifically with respect to uh, texting and forms of communication like that because everybody's on their cell phone and for some of us with personal challenges it's more difficult and more challenging to actually make that happen people hit me up all the time why aren't you on whatsapp why aren't you on this app why aren't you on that app well because it's number one often a waste of time but number two it is more demanding and challenging for me than i need it to be in order to be effective the way i want to be effective in life so that's it. That's all I've got today. Busy again. I summer is such a crazy time, both personally and professionally, that it's busy, busy, busy. And people are like, "You got 15 minutes to chat?" And I'm like, mm, "No, not sure when it would fit in my schedule." But if you give me a little notice, if you ask a question, if you've got a question, you can use the Voxer app, pajamagram at gmail.com, and just ask me a quick question. That I can do. Those things I can fit into my schedule. Uh, but if you want to. Pitch me something and put the sales call for 15 minutes. Not going to happen unless you schedule it pretty far out. All right. Have an awesome day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye.